Hi all, I'm Dr. G, um, or Dr. Goberts, one of the uh, doctors at Vita Lab, and it gives me great pleasure to chat to you today um, as part of Reproductive Health Month. And the question I need to answer is, can I time intercourse or use a specific position to have a male fetus? So stay tuned to uh, hear what I have to say and especially stay tuned right to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you a secret. So how does egg and sperm determine the sex of the baby? Firstly, every egg only has an X chromosome. And a sperm may either have an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. And depending which sperm then fertilizes the egg, if it's the X chromosome sperm, we will have a female fetus. And if it's the Y chromosome sperm, we will have a male fetus. Now we know, and this has been looked at on numerous occasions and with many different studies to show that invariably most males will have 50% male sperm and 50% female sperm. So if that is the case, how will we change the gender of our baby or fetus with various different ways? And there's a lot of rubbish out there. And be careful to what you listen to because firstly, many years ago there was an article that said if as a female you have a plate of cereal every morning, you'll have a greater chance of having a male fetus, which is not quite correct. Then because the Y chromosome is much smaller than the X chromosome, it was thought that the Y chromosome sperm should be lighter and be able to swim quicker and get to the egg sooner. So then one said, well, if that is the case, let's try with coital technique. In other words, try and time exactly when ovulation is occurring and how we will then disseminate the sperm into the vagina, either deep or superficial, before or at the time of ovulation in the hope of us determining the sex of the fetus. Ultimately, whatever you do, you're going to end up 50% of the time you'll be right and 50% of the time you'll be wrong. So it doesn't matter whether you eat a plate of all grain flakes in the morning as a female every day or whether you have certain coital techniques to try and get the male sperm closer to the mouth of the womb or to try and time it in relation to when the ovary is releasing the egg. That is not going to change things. And then be careful of doctors who offer you a washing procedure where we will separate out the male sperm from the female sperm and then charge you to do artificial insemination because we are going to get you the gender of the baby you want. And that again is also rubbish. You cannot spin male sperm down and get male sperm or female sperm to then do artificial insemination to get you the gender you want. Again, 50% of the time you will be correct and 50% of the time you will be incorrect. So none of these different issues, whether it's a bowl of cereal or whether it's washing the sperm and prepping it so we only then inject the sperm of the gender that you want, is all incorrect. But if we need to look at getting gender, perhaps because there's a genetic problem in the male offspring and therefore you only want female offspring, with IVF we are able to then check the embryos. So that is the secret that I wanted you to wait to hear, that it is possible with IVF, but it is not possible with all the other mumbo-jumbo that you have been told. Thank you.